Hey, Jacob. Hey, Pop. What are you sitting on? I'm sitting on my... Or leaning on, I guess. Look, I'm leaning on a red 1965 Plymouth Barracuda. Yeah. Maybe. Has it got a hot rod engine or a grocery getter? Just a grocery getter. Yeah. What engine is it? 225 slant six. Nice. What kind of transmissions this thing got? Well, it's got a medium, a medium sized transmission. Medium sized? Well, it's a small one. Yeah, well, what kind is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Is it a four speed? Is it a three speed? It's a three speed manual, three on the tree. Three on the tree. Nice. Well, let's take a look at this thing. All right, so 1965, it's got 13 inch wheels, right? Mm-hmm, 13 inch wheels, pretty tough. 355, it says right here. Okay. Pretty cool hubcaps, you can see the Valiant picture right here on the edge of the... Yep, the little Plymouth emblem right there. There you go. Uh. All right, let's go to the back. You want to get the keys so we can open the trunk? Yeah. We'll go ahead and open the trunk. All right. I think you got the wrong key, maybe. Try the other key. Yeah. The round one. Round one. Okay, Chrysler Corp. There you go. Bumps up or down on a Chrysler? Up. Just turn it. Like there that. you go. There we go. There's All right. So it's got, uh, the jack is still in it, I see. Probably. Yeah. Got a couple parts here we still need to get in there. I'm going to show this to, to Brian. Hey, Brian, check that out. Okay, let's take a look here. Now, this is the trunk area of a 1965 Barracuda. With nice and, black carpet. Yeah, black carpet. Spare tires in there. It's holding air, too. Wow. Let's take a quickie look at that and see what that tire looks like. There we there go. It, it has some red paint on it. It's yep. Old looking, actually. Yep. Have the tires been replaced on this car? I don't know. Here, hold this thing. All right. Now, let's pop this down. Let's see, this is something most people don't know about. But this comes down. And then you can look way inside there. So you could put something pretty big inside here. Lots of groceries. You could put a lot of stuff inside here. All right, now you look in there for a second. You see right here? Yeah. You see that? That's where the gas goes in when you fill the tank. Mm -hmm. All right. So just look down in there, and I'm going to go up here. And look how much room we get in the Barracuda. Well, you could already tell that you can see a lot of room in this car. You will open that, and look that's... At that. That is a now lot of room. Now you could lay down in there. You could take a it's perfect take, for drive-in theaters because you can put a pillow in here and then you can look out this big glass and watch the movie. You're right. And uh, and lay down flat, pretty much flat, even for a tall person. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. There's a the door. All right. Here, give me back that camera. All right. All right, Jacob, why don't you do me a favor? Go in there, set the choke, and fire it up for me. Yes, sir. You want me to shove the truck? Yeah. There's the keys. Thank you. Okay. Sometimes when the windows are up, the doors don't open. Because ours is so old. Because it's open top, eh? Get in. <laughs> It's a little squeeze, all the junk in his, in this fun shop right here. Okay, so how do you set the choke on an, on an old car like this? You push the gas pedal all the way down. Okay. And then pull it back up. Okay. Are you in neutral? I am in neutral, yes, sir. Okay. Start it up. Do it. Man, that starts just like fuel injection. 
All right, well, why don't you go ahead and back it out? All right, Jacob's nine years old. He's doing pretty good with that clutch. The three on the tree. Back up some more. Back up some more. Man, that choke, we need to adjust that thing. It's a little too tight, I think. All right, let's go for a quickie little ride in the 65 Barracuda. Yeah, the joke's probably a little tight. We won't worry about that right now. We'll fix it later. All right. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. Let's go out that way, but make a U-turn back because uh, it's kind of muddy out there in the field after all the rain. Go ahead and U-turn right here so we don't go into the mud. So, how are we going to do? Let's go down, down the street here, down the driveway. Down the driveway. Well, this car has been around for more than 50 years. And our car still runs very good. Most 65 are good. Some are being used for drag races. I think most people take the three in the tree out, make it a four on the floor, and throw a V8 in them. Yeah, but we're going to leave up. this one stocked just like it is. Make, keep it a grocery getter. Nice little car. We got plenty of cars to make hot rods out of. Good. Here we go. Back home. Back home from the barricade. This is stalker. Like Pop said, it's just a stalker. Slant six. All right. I don't 
know exactly how many miles are on this car. I don't remember the odometer, what it says, but anyway, it's it's got a lot of miles. The engine at one point was rebuilt. Um, car was purchased off of eBay out of Texas. All right. Okay. Purchased out of Texas. To, the only body damage or real work that had to be done is there was a Bible stuck down here and it actually made a rectangular rust spot right there. So this part of this is rebuilt because it rotted, but it was a section about yo big. This trunk lid has been replaced. It was originally off of a black car. It was on there when I purchased the car. The glass and everything is original. Uh, had to replace the windshield. I broke it, taking it out of the car when I was doing body or paint, doing that kind of thing. There's our T25. You can hear it here. It's got an exhaust leak down here between the intake and the exhaust manifold. I'm gonna we'll, we'll, uh, we'll video that and fix it. And uh, we're gonna take this distributor apart down here. It's still points, so we're gonna leave it points. And we'll recurve that and make it run better. Anyway, that's it. That's the 65 Barracuda with a 225. Yeah, we'll take it for a drive. All right, so there's the Barracuda. Hope you liked it.